The cell transcribes the genetic designs for each protein from strands of DNA to special molecules of RNA. An enzyme unwinds a segment of DNA, making room for its complementary RNA nucleotides. Both DNA and RNA nucleotides contain a sugar, phosphate, and base. But in RNA, the sugar is ribose, and one of the four bases is replaced by uracil. The exposed bases of the DNA strand serve as a model for the construction of messenger, or mRNA. On other strands, the cell produces transfer, or tRNA, and ribosomal, or rRNA. In their final form, these molecules play a vital role in protein synthesis. Translation begins with the binding of a messenger RNA to a small subunit of a ribosome, the cell's workbench for protein assembly. When properly positioned, the messenger RNA triggers the approach of a tRNA, which carries the first amino acid. The tRNA attaches only if its three nucleotides exactly match the first three coding nucleotides of the mRNA strand. A large ribosomal subunit now joins the group to form a functional ribosome, with two binding sites built from ribosomal proteins and rRNA. Soon, another tRNA arrives, which matches the next three nucleotides on the strand. With the help of the ribosome and some cellular energy, the neighboring amino acids bond together. The first amino acid then separates from its RNA taxi, leaving the ribosome in search of another, identical amino acid. Now, the ribosome moves along the mRNA strand. This exposes the next set of nucleotides, which match those of another tRNA. With each amino acid, the protein continues to elongate. As it grows, it folds into the three-dimensional shape so crucial to its function. When the process is complete, the ribosomal fragments separate, free to join again later. With a legion of these molecules in operation, a single cell can produce hundreds of proteins every second.